Praise the living God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. We welcome you all in the name of Jesus Christ. We greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ for following us, for tuning in, uh, for your tuning in right now. We bless the name of the Lord. This is virtual summit. In Christ, we bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's mighty. He's excellent. Wonderful Jehovah. Awesome great Father. Amen. That wonderful name. Jesus. That wonderful name. Jesus. That wonderful name. Jesus, there is no other name I know. That wonderful name, Jesus, that wonderful name, my Savior. That wonderful name, Jesus, there is no other name I know. That wonderful name, Jesus, that wonderful name, my Savior. That wonderful name, Jesus, there is no other name I know. That wonderful name, Jesus, that wonderful name, my Savior. That wonderful name, Jesus, there is no other name I know. That wonderful name, Jesus, that wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus, there is no other name I know. Give me glory to the Lord, the rest. Give me glory to the Lord, the rest. He rests, he rests, he rests. Oh, I give me glory to the Lord, the rest. Hallelujah. Give it glory to the Lord, the rest. Give it glory to the Lord, the rest. He rests, he rests, he rests. Oh, give it glory to the Lord, the rest. Hallelujah. Give it glory to the Lord, he rests. Give it glory to my Lord, the rest. He rest, he rest, he rest. Oh, I give it glory to my Lord, he rest. Hallelujah, give it glory to the Lord, he rest. Give it glory to my Lord, he rest. He rest, he rest, he rest. Oh, I give it glory to my Lord, the rain. Hallelujah. Give it glory to the Lord, the rest. Give it glory to the Lord, the rest. He rest, he rest, he rest. Give it glory to the Lord, the rain. Hallelujah. Give it glory to the Lord, the rest. Give it glory to the Lord, he rest. He rest, he rest, he rest. Oh, give it glory to the Lord, he rest. Hallelujah. Give it glory to the Lord, he rest. Give it glory to the Lord, he rest. He rest, he rest, he rest. Oh, give it glory to my Lord, he reigns. Hallelujah, oh, give it glory to the Lord, he reigns. Give it glory to my Lord, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. Oh, 
giving glory to the Lord. He reign. Hallelujah. Oh, give me glory to the Lord. He reigns. Give me glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. Oh, give me glory to the Lord. He reigns. Praise the living God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We like us this hour. Let us begin to thank our Father Almighty God. Let us begin to worship Him. Let us begin to adore Him. He is worthy. He is mighty. He is excellent. He is wonderful. Let us bless His holy name. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the ancients of the Father, Father we we tell you, Lord, you are mighty. Jesus, you are Lord, excellent. You are wonderful. Mighty Jesus, Savior, Lord, mighty Lord, Redeemer. Lord, and there is no other God like you. There is no other God to compare to you. In the name of Jesus, Father. Father, my Lord, there's no other God to compare to you at the most high God. You reign it in the heaven, you reign it in the earth, and the Lord of hosts is your name. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. Oh Lord, my Father, we say thank you. King of glory, we say thank you. Amen. We shall not be And I will bless your holy name. We exalt your name, Father. Almighty God, you are excellent. God, you are wonderful. God, you are. And I will thank you for your goodness, for your lovely kindness. Oh Lord, we thank you for your mercy. 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 We thank Thank you for another brand new month, Almighty God. Father, and I will you, bless your holy name. We exalt your name, Father. We thank you for our lives, our children's lives, our husbands, our wives' lives, Father, the body of Christ, all of humanity. Father, we thank you for your holy name, Almighty God. And we thank you for this ministry, precious many Christ ministry. Father, we thank you for this program today, Lord. And we thank you, Father, and all that God is like you know, all that God to confess to the Lord of Jesus and send the arrow back to the center of Jesus. Father, God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. No other God is like you, no other God to compare to you at the most high God. And I go to worship you, adore you, we magnify you, your holy name in the name of Jesus, our Father. No other God is like you, no other God to compare to you at the most high God. We worship you, we adore you, we magnify your holy name, Lord. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer, Father, take all the glory. Take all the honor, take all the praise, Father. We give you all, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We are still, we are still, we are still praying. We are going to ask, we are going to ask for mercy. We are going to ask for mercy. Let us ask God for mercy in any way that we have seen against Almighty God for God to forgive us, to wash us, to cleanse us, to purify us in His precious love. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, my Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Ancient, the Father, have mercy upon us. And in any way that I have seen against you, I repent, Lord. And I show me mercy, show my husband mercy, show my children mercy, Lord. And in any way that you have seen against you, we plead for your mercy, 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 Lord. And I show us. Mercy, Father God, show us mercy. Father God, show me mercy. And in any way that opened up for the for any way that opened up, mighty God, for the enemy in my life, my home, in my marriage, my children's life, Father, my husband's life, I ask for your mercy, Father, forgive us, O Lord, and I forgive me, forgive my husband, my children, and close those up for us in the name of Jesus, my my Father. And I show us mercy, show the body of Christ mercy, show the members of this ministry mercy. Oh Lord Jesus, show us mercy, Father God, show us mercy, Father God, show us mercy, Father God, show us mercy. and pray for your mercy, 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 Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray for your mercy. Show us mercy. Father God, show us mercy. Everlasting Father, show us mercy. King of glory, show us mercy. Show us mercy, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are still praying. We are going to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. There is life in the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Let us begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Let us cover us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Cover the program with the blood of Jesus Christ. Cover the message that comes today with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Let us pray in Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God. And I will plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We plead the precious blood of the Lamb of God, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, cover my spirit and body with the blood of Jesus Christ. My husband's with somebody with the blood of Jesus. Right? I cover my children's with somebody with the blood of Jesus. Father, I saturate my house with the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I'm a compound right and all. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. I draw the world of protection around me, around my husband, around my children, around my compound right and all my home in the name of Jesus. Right? Father, but I will plead the blood of Jesus. And the virtual so many Christ ministry. And I will plead the blood of Jesus. And this ministry, the message today, my take on the program today. And I will cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. I will plead the blood of Jesus on the air, on the land, on the children. 
the day. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ in the first heaven, the second heavens. And we plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We plead the precious blood of the Lamb of God. The blood of Jesus Christ that is power in the precious blood of the Lamb of God. And I go, we thank you for the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We soak our spiritual garment in the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Plead the blood in our parliament, our community, in our area, in our country. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ. In this place, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. And soon we plead the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us invite the sweet Holy Spirit to come and have his way in our midst right now. In the name of Jesus, we cannot do without Holy Spirit. Let us welcome sweet Holy Spirit of God. Oh, sweet Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We welcome in our midst. In the name of Jesus, come and have your way. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, we depend on you. Come and have your way. Come and have your way. In the name of Jesus, we worship you. We come. We call upon you to come and have your way in our midst right now. Holy Spirit of God, put your word in our mouth, Almighty God. Anoint our voice. Anoint our lips, Almighty God. Speaking your word, Almighty. God, Father, come and be with us, Father. We cannot speak your word without you. We need you, Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God, come and have your way. And open our heart of understanding to understand your word as your word is coming for us. Use your word to draw every soul to you. Oh, your soul, your Lord, your soul, your daughter that will come across later. That God, my Father, open your our heart through your word, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. We welcome in our midst in the name of Jesus. We cannot do the Holy Spirit of God. We need you, sweet Holy Spirit of God. Please come and have your way. Come and have your way. We welcome you. We welcome you, sweet Holy Spirit of God. Sweet of the Come and have your way. We welcome you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are still praying. We are going to put on the whole among God. As Father God said, we should put on the whole among God. The word of the Lord says, put on the whole among God. The this is for you and I to be able to stand against the wise of the devil. There is devil out there. Let us put on the world. Let us begin to wear ourselves. The whole among God right now in the name of your Father God. I thank you for the special for your for your for your own arm almighty God. Father, put on the whole among God. I cover my husband with the whole among God. I cover my children with the whole among God. I cover my house with the whole among God. I cover my job with the whole among God. Father. When I cover my compound with the whole among God, my house with the whole among God, and I will cover the zoom with the blue whole among God, we'll cover the screaming with the whole among God, and I will cover your message that coming forth to the whole among God. Oh Lord, we cover ourselves to the whole among God in the day when you come to your protection, and I use your grandma to surrender us from the death of your Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we protect the power of mind with the whole among God, and we touch with the whole among God, Father, in our heart, our spirit, our body with the whole among God. In Jesus. We have prayed. That's the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are still praying. We are going to ask Father God, Almighty God. We are going to ask Father God to arise and let his enemy be scattered. The word of the Lord said they shall surely gather. But the gathering is not of God. They shall fall for our sake and scatter. We are going to ask Father God, Father, wherever the enemy of our soul gather, wherever the Satan is Satan and his demon gather right now, because of this uh, program today, Father, let them fall and scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them fall and scatter in pieces, broken pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray in Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God. Father God, arise, 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 oh Lord, and let them scatter. Father, wherever the enemy gather right now, oh Lord Jesus, let them fall and scatter, 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 Lord. Wherever they gather the Satan, 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 the Satan,
Amen. We are going to take authority. We are going by the power and the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are going to take authority over the powers of darkness, over the Satan, the Satan, and the demon. Any agent of Satan, any any powers of Satan are fighting against this ministry. Standing there to deceive the children of God, to, to make the children of God not to listen to this message. To make the children of God not to understand when they listen, not to understand. We are going to bound those demons. We are going to command those demons to go back to the abyss and remain bound there in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us begin to, to pray in the name of Jesus. Let us open our mouth and pray. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, by your power, by your authority. Father, we found every demon that assigned that assigned to disturb any of your son, any of your daughter, this program today, not to listen, not to understand. Father, we found those demons, we found those demons, we found right now, we command them to go to the abyss. We found those demons, we cast them out in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind them in the name of Jesus Christ. All those demons that are the agents of sin, we bind you in the name of Jesus We bind you in the name of Jesus We bind you in the name of Jesus We bind you. We cast you up to the abyss and remain bound. Holy go fire. Locate them and roll them to the abyss. Holy go fire. Roll them to the abyss. go fire. Locate them wherever they gather they are. Holy go fire. Burn and touch. 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 We render your powers. We powerless in the We render your power useless. You agent of sin. We render your power. You powerless in the We command you to receive fire. God in the We We execute judgment of God of punishment upon you. The image shall not be well with this. In the name of Jesus, when we send fire to look. Jesus, every agent of Satan and the powers of Satan and Satan and Timon, whatever they gather against this program today, we send fire into your mission. We send fire into your God. That Holy Ghost fire consume all of you in the name of Jesus. We bond all demons in the name of Jesus. We bond all of you in the name of Jesus. We cast you up back to the abyss and remain bound there in the name of Jesus. The hate that is in the world in the name of Jesus. This ministry is not to Jesus. Everyone that comes out here comes from the true name of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are saying We are going to ask other God to open our hearts. Uh, the word of the Lord for me today. For God to use His word to open our heart of understanding, to enlighten our under understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. We are hearing the word of the Lord to understand and put it in practice in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, as Your word is coming today, Father, use it to open the source of your heart. Lord, help them to use the word to open their mind, to open their heart, to open their eyes, Almighty God, Father, for them to all of us to understand your word almighty God and put it to practice in the name of Jesus. When I speak to each and every one of us, O Lord, when I use this word almighty God to win to your kingdom in the name of Jesus. Use this word that coming forth today almighty God to liberate your children, to set your children free from all the job, mighty God. When I in the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, let your power, let your let your fire, let your hammer follow this word almighty God that will destroy every stony heart that will destroy stubborn heart, my God. Heavenly Father, give your children the heart of flesh in the name of Jesus to understand your word, Father. We we ask you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We are going to pray for the messenger and the message more for Almighty God to for God, for God to anoint her, anoint her, her servant to anoint her in the name of God to anoint her more anointing from above to give her the switch of bone to speak the word of the Lord body boldly in the name of God to open her spiritual ear to hear His voice as He speak. Almighty God will allow her to hear and she will repeat what Father Lord Jesus Christ speaks. To us, to us, to speak to us in the name of Jesus. We are going to leave the, the woman of God before God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray for the woman of God in the name of Jesus and the message. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, we bring your daughter before you, my God, Father, anoint her fresh, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, that your word is coming from a throne room, Father. God Almighty God, let us shall I put it in, put it in a mouth, Almighty God, and a heart, Almighty God, as you speak, let us speak your, your word, Almighty God. And I help her to hear your voice, Almighty God, I repeat what you say in the name of Jesus Christ. <coughs> Don't let us speak on your own. Own flesh. The name of Jesus, Father, let every Jesus, flesh, let every flesh be, uh, cru be crucified out of our life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Jesus, speak through her in the name of Jesus. Father, speak through her. Put your word in her mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, anoint her fresh, O Lord. Father, give her the spirit of boldness, O my God, to speak your word fully in the name of Jesus. Father, be with her. Father, guide her. Father, protect her. Protect her family in the name of your Father. Send it. Send it. Send your word. Your angels to watch over her. To fight for us right now. To fight for her in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, be with 
with our Lord, any power, any spirit, any personality that wants to distract her, and I let your thunder for you arise and consume those powers right now in the name of Jesus. That greater is you that is in her, the head that is in the world. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Oh Lord Jesus, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for gathering us, oh God, almighty God, in your presence. To sit at your feet and learn from you, Lord. Oh Lord, we are grateful, we are thankful, my God. Speak to each and every one of us, so your word in our heart, in the name of Jesus. And as we want to open the service right now, Father, abide with us, oh Lord. Heavenly Father, we open the service, this, uh, this program right now, Father, we open this program in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I welcome you once again. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. So I would like to welcome the panelists. I would like to welcome the panelists. I welcome the evangelists. Uh, sorry, I welcome uh, Sister Claudia. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome Sister Aisha. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome myself. May the Lord bless me in the name of Jesus Christ. I would like to welcome the host of this program, Virtuous Met Time. I would like to welcome the, the host of this program. I welcome Evangelist Marie. May the Lord bless you, ma. Hand over to you, ma. <coughs> Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, on our side, Father, for another day in your presence, O Lord, Father, for another day among the living. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, on our side, to Lord, Father, for your grace and mercy upon us. Father, we glorify your holy name, O Lord Jesus, Father, for giving us, O Lord, Father, the strength, O Lord, to be at to be here in your presence at this hour. Many wanted to have this opportunity, wasn't given to them, O oh Lord. Many of them will have faced their eternity today, but to give us another opportunity to amend our way. Father, we are so grateful. We thank you. Father, we thank you for this venture human time. Father, we don't know anything. We are learning through the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we commit this wonderful moment into your hand. Come and teach us again. Come and correct us again. Things that can easily bring spots in our life. Father, reveal it to us so can you get rid of it in the mighty name of jesus father come and take over lord use me all over as you want to use me silence every flesh in me silence every personal opinion in me but holy spirit to you alone come and talk to us in the mighty name of jesus as you say in the word of god that the bible the man shall not live by bread alone but every word that proceeds in the mouth of god we are here to strengthen our inner man but we are here to make our spirit more stronger in your presence in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you lord thank you king of glory in jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah amen hallelujah amen we are seeing our topic about the property of Jezebel. Hmm. Many people will say, so don't you have another topic? Yes, we have many topics, but this one is the main topic that is leading many Christians to hell without knowing. So we need to hammer on it. We need to remind ourselves that the enemy, after Coming to the, the knowledge of truth, the enemy will not lead us astray, we will not miss it. Hallelujah. We know, the enemy already knows, Satan knows that we are getting to know the scripture more and we are practicing what we are, what we are learning. So it's now coming in a very sneak way to deceive us in these little, little things, you know. It doesn't matter. I don't think so. Not this one. It's too small. Those are the things that you come and plant in our midst. You'll be surprised that the, the, the Jezebel is more in the charge of God than in the world. That is exactly what is happening. He's operating more in the church, inside the church, than in the world. That's why you see God give this revelation to our late evangelist Claire. He said the church is dirty. They are coming, they think they are coming to worship God. That's why God said. But in the spirit, they are coming to worship another God. They are just presenting themselves in form of godliness, but at the same time, ungodly. He said, if any man, God says in in first, uh, first Corinthians 3, verse 17, let us stand there.
first Corinthians three. First Corinthians three. 17 say, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye are? God is telling us that if any man destroy the temple of God, God will destroy. And which, which temple that this Bible verse is talking about? Which, which temple that God is talking about that is going to destroy? It's not going to destroy the building. Who is the temple of God? Let us turn to the verse, the very first uh, Corinthians six, verse uh, nineteen to twenty. Let us read it together to see what is the Bible talking about the temple. Who are the temple? What is this temple? The Bible says in uh, in nineteen is, is a question mark. It's asking question. What? Know ye not that our your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you? Which ye have of God, and ye are not on your own, ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body, in your spirit, which are God's. So that means our body, our spirit, is not us, but of God. That's why uh, uh, here Apostle Paul was reminding us that when you have to glorify God, we have to glorify Him. To this body because it belongs to him, to to the, to our spirit that also belongs to him. No wonder in Second Corinthians says that having therefore this promise, dear beloved, that we should cleanse ourselves, filthiness of the flesh, flesh represent body, and the spirit because it is not it is not us, it's for God. We're not supposed to pollute it. You're not supposed to play with it. We're not supposed to decorate it. You're not supposed to keep it dirty, but to be clean all the time. Because God dwells there. God doesn't dwell in a temple that was built by man, but the temple that he, that he himself is the builder. That is our body. So, the enemy knows that this is, he can easily make people to miss it. He knows that God dwells in a temple that, that is our body. So he now tries to make us defile it. So that God will not dwell in us, but he to come and take um, to come and possess it. And how did he possess it? By introducing all his property that it looks an abomination in the eyes of God. What are those things? What are those things that are polluting the temple of God, that is making the temple of God look dirty? This is the thing that the queen of the cause, Jezebel herself, introduced in the church in the name of beauty, looking nice, looking beautiful. God says that everything that he has created was good. He said everything that he created, it was good. If it was not good, he will not rest for the for the seventh day. He will not rest at all. He will continue. You continue. You understand? You continue to to make it perfect. He sat. He said, "No, no, no, no." In Genesis to in Genesis one thirty one, the book of Genesis one thirty one. The Bible says, and God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. It did not say good, it very good. When you talk about very good, you know when you're giving feedback, there's always good, very, very good is the highest number. That when you say very good, it's like, yes, you have reached the limit that, you know, the standard. He said everything, it was more than good. It was very good. Because it was very good, he look, he said, there's nothing to be changed. Everything is perfect. This is what I exactly I wanted it. You understand? Everybody has a dream, you know, a dream to be somebody, a dream to be a mother, a dream to be a, 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 a wife, a dream to be a husband, a dream to be a successful a, a businessman. We have so many different dreams. You see, 
as a young, as we, you know, a young a children, you see them say, I want to be this in the future. I want to do that. This is my dream to do that, you know. And when your dream come to pass, you are so happy because you have fulfilled it. You say, ah, oh, this is exactly what I, I, I wanted. You are bold. You are building your dream house, or you bought your dream house, or you 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 decorate it in the way that it pleases you. You are so happy because yeah, that's exactly it looked like the way you dream it to be. So this is God now being satisfied of the way everything came out as he planned. He was so happy that things come very good and in the evening and the morning were the sixth day. So he, create, he took his time, day one, to focus on one thing. Day two, to focus on another thing. Day four, to focus on another thing. You understand? He, he has his time to do all these things. It took his time to finish all this thing. You know, if you work six days, I can tell how you can be exhausted. And you need one day to rest. Because what? You have worked and worked and worked. And at least what you have worked, you have the reason. You don't regret because you know what you really work for. It was successful. Now, after trying to rest, to be waiting now for the thing that you have created to start worshipping you or for you to start getting thank you. Ah, thank you for creating me. Thank you. Ah, Father, thank you for making me in your own choice, in your own image. Father, thank you. Only you might be that complain. Dog never complain. Why did you give me tell? Why did you give me four, four, four legs? Dog that doesn't complain. Chicken, you never look at the duck and lost after that to say that, ah, I wish I was like duck. Never. They are happy the way they are. They don't complain. But God takes his time to create us as a human being in his own image. To look like him, he gave us power. The power that he did not give to those animals, but he gave it to us because he took us as his own children. But now we are using that power to challenge him, to say we are not happy the way you created us. In fact, this eyes, you're not, suppo you're not supposed to give me this eye. You're supposed to give me so, so, so eye. I love the eyes of so so so. It's more beautiful than I. I love the nose of so so so. Look more beautiful than that. Why did you give me this one? Why did you give me this one? Instead, somebody that work hard, waiting for the compliment. What is waiting is complaining. What is receiving is complaining and gratefulness. Even we as a human being, when you are helping somebody, when you work hard to do something that you really sacrifice so many things to do and the next minute the person insulting you how will you feel now let's talk about god he took his special time he left his strong to do all those things because the bible says the sixth day the seventh day god rested he took it to rest so that means he was not sitting down he was not resting he was busy working day and night to make us to be the way he wanted to be, but what Satan is coming now to Satan knows that this is the thing that will make God upset. And God, when God is upset with you, what do you think the end will be? What do you think the end will be? You see, God is not tired to send the obedience, the disobedience children to hell. He will give you a chance to repent. If you don't repent, and is tired, you have run out of grace, he will just send you where he was avoiding you to be. That is God. Because he said, if a man defiled the temple of God, him shall God destroy. He will destroy that temple by sending it to hell. He will destroy that temple because that, that, that temple become good for nothing. That temple is no longer a, a, a place that he can dwell. 
is no longer a place that the Holy Ghost can feel comfortable. So it's then it becomes good for nothing but to do what? To be destroyed. To give opportunity to another temple. So let us keep the temple of God uh, uh, clean. What is polluting the temple of God that is making the temple of God dirty? Is the spirit of Jezebel. The spirit of Jezebel has incarnated in so many forms. In form of fake hair, makeup, lipstick. I heard the Satanist, ex-Satanist man that he has encountered with Jesus. As this man was exposing uh, all the, the, the way they, they do all these things, you'll be surprised. He said, many people say, oh, India here, India here, he came from India, he came from the Maripa, he came from under the sea. They produce it, there is big snake under the sea. There is this big snake that he, he, I hear grow every second. He will grow long like a big tail. They will be cutting it, they will, they will be doing it under the sea, they will produce it there, they will bring it in the, in the world. You know, they will be selling it in the name of, you know, the spirit behind it. You are carrying these snakes and you are praying with these snakes in your head. You are, you are taking the human being blood that is in your lip. The way the day that, that man explained how they do this bleeding skin, it made me to vomit. I feel sick because I was using it. He said they use it with a... a, a I cannot even explain because it's so disgusting. So these are the things that we in the temple of God put in this dirty thing. Physically, you want to keep yourself clean. How do you keep yourself clean? You might keep you look yourself clean, but you are dirty. Why? Because you are not in the standard. Mini skirt is not allowed. Anything that makes people to lust after you is not, is not good. It defiles the temple of God. Oh, I have a good shape. Good shape is for your husband to enjoy it. It's for your husband to enjoy it. It's for, not for you to expose it, everybody to see. No. It is for you to keep yourself, to glorify God in your body. For your husband to thank God, to praise God that God, you give me the wife with a good shape. It's not for people to be lost after you to be carrying uh, demons. You see, I listened to a, a testimony. A, a demon was talking in a human being that she gave this woman 5,000 marine uh, spiritual husband. 5,000. Tell me, you pray today, you cast one. We are talking about 5,000. I'm praying, I'm casting the, the, the spiritual husband, but I still having them. You have to ask yourself question, how many are they? Until you are still having them, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are legion. They are legion, they are many. When demon come and see the place is clean, he will go and call another seven. Each one of them will go and call another seven. How many times did you backslide? So each time you backslide, the demon will come seven times seven. Now, if the first time he was delivered for 34 demons, now imagine the 34 bringing 777. If he was delivered for 40 demons, imagine each one of them bringing 777. You understand? So let us live a holy life to keep the temple of God clean, holy. Because that day is the spirit of God. If the temple is not clean, the Spirit of God will not dwell there. So if the Spirit of God is not there, which is Spirit that is, is using, which is Spirit that is dwelling there? The devil, the queen of the cross, the marine spirit. That's why you see people are so aggressive when you tell them. I, I, I put myself, I say, everything that somebody will tell me is bad. If I, I, if I, if I want to argue with that Spirit, that means something wrong with me. Because the Spirit of God, it will make you to, to know that, yes, you agree immediately that, yes, yeah, it's true. When they explain you, when you see yourself, you know that, no, 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 this is true. The Spirit of God will tell you. The discernment spirit will, it will convince you that, yes, that is wrong. But when you say, no, 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 even when they give you the Bible verse, no, 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 no. I don't argue with the Bible verse, you know. They tell you this thing is wrong.
You know, when God talk, um, you know, what amazed me is that even in those days, they knew. We are talking about Genesis. From Genesis, they already knew the property of Jezebel. So the property of Jezebel is not starting now that people say hey, it's now that no, we are the one now coming closer to the knowledge of God. We are coming closer to the standard of heaven before we was very far from it because it was in the Bible. People can say that, oh, eh, it started after, after Jezebel died. No, 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 no. Eh, it started in the New Testament. No, 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 no. It started from the beginning. It started from the beginning. So when they tell you that, oh, this thing is sin, wedding ring is sin, eh, makeup is sin, all those uh, 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 chain, everything is sin, it is sin. Because some people say that ah, when God uh, uh, took them out of Egypt, they, 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 told, they told them to collect all, dwell, all the, uh, the gold. When God told them to come out to, to collect all the, the, uh, the, the, the things, the gold, all the stuff from the Egyptian, did God tell them for them to wear them? Did God tell them to put it in their children? No. God took it because what? They were slaves. In Egypt they did not have any salary that means they have no money at all and God needed all this gold to build his temple he needed it to build his temple he knew how to use it in the right time he knew how to use it in the right time you know it's not for them to put it in their body God tell them, took them, bring it in the wilderness because he knows that by the time he, will, he built his tabernacle, he will need gold. He will need gold. He will need all those things. You know? Because when they wanted to do their idol, what did Aaron tell them? He said, bring all those things that you brought. He break the will of God. It, it said, bring all those things. And they put it, they start boiling it. The one that was in their children's hand, they, they, they move, remove it all. They put it to, to do that, to do that, that fake God, that idol. Do you understand? This is the purpose, is to bow the tabernacle of God. It's not for them to wear them in their body. It's not for them to sell them. Because in the wilderness, there were no place they can sell and exchange things. They were, God is the one that was providing everything for them. It was not for them to do any market with them, to sell it, to do any business with it. But today people say, ah, God is do this, God is do that, God is do that. Let's say now, what happened in Genesis 30, 34, you know, Genesis 34. Then, Genesis, Moses was not there yet. The children of Israel, they, was, they, they, they were no slaves yet. They did not collect the gold yet. As many people will say. As many people will say that it's God that gives them permission. So therefore, it's not a sin. And you people are saying it. You people are exaggerating. You people are taking it so far. You see. Let us go to uh, 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 Genesis 35. Verse 1. Let's see what it said. Verse 1 all the way to, to um, verse 4. And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make there an, uh, an altar unto God, that appear unto thee, when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. Then Jacob said unto, into his household. So now, Listen to this. Jacob said into, the, into his household and to all that were with him, put away the strange God that are uh, among you and be clean and change your garment. And let us rise and go up to Bethel and I will make thee, make thee an altar unto God who answered me in the day of my distress and, uh, and was with me in the way with which I went. And they gave into Jacob all the strength goddess which were in their in their hands. We are talking about bracelets and the earrings, all the things in their hand, and all their earrings which were in their ears. Now, which argument do you and I we have in this Bible verse? Which argument do we have? 
Jacob, when God said to Jacob, God, arise, go to Bethel and build an altar, Jacob said, knew that he was already filled, he was, he was no longer in the presence of God, so he needed to go back where he started with God. That's why God said that to go back to our first love, the day to always remember how we started. To check ourselves, are we still in that same position? Because it's not everybody that have the second chance that God will come and remind you. Some of them, they just perish like that. God will have mercy to whom will have mercy. But how do you know that you are among the people that God will have mercy? That's the thing. How will you know? How will you know? Check around you. How many people died? Without having this opportunity, you and I, we are having now. And they died to worry all those things. You understand? Only God knows whether he warned them about it or not. Some of them died in their head. I heard this, a, a lady, she was give, going to, to have a, a son, to have a, give birth. So, the day before, she went to the salon, she, she put a fake, a, a fake hair, you know. She did a fake hair, very nice, because he knows that by the time I'll give birth to so that I can look beautiful. And she went there, she died, and she was giving birth with the fake hair in her head. If she knew that, after dying with this property of the enemy, you will not see God, because now God will ask you, did I give you this hair that you are appearing with me, like that? If she know that this one is a sin, you think it will take a, she will take her time to go and waste her money doing it? No. Now, God said, arise and go. He reminded him because he, was, he knew that he was no longer in the presence of God. He was no longer in the standard of heaven. Now, himself, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God taught him, he now came to warn his house, we cannot go in the presence of God the way we are filthy. That means they were not taking bath. That means they were not washing their clothes. No. He was talking about the thing that you made God to look them as a filthy. He was talking about the spiritual garment. He was talking about the appearance. They were not dressing according they were not wearing the right thing that was pleasing God at all. You understand? It's not the garment that was pleasing God at all. It's not because they were smelly, they were not changing their garment, they were not cleaning their garment, there was no washing, there was no... You understand what I mean? But look at what happened. He said, go and clean and change your garment. Take away all the strength. So they, they, Jacob knew that they have the strength God. Allow the strength God to be among them. When you know that they are real God that give him promise, he met with him. He even make a covenant with him. God said, I will never leave you. He fights with him to say, if you not bless me, I will not leave you. After getting the blessing, after giving the, the covenant, having covenant with him, he still have to turn away to allow the things that can make him to look filthy. You know? Because he knew. Did God tell him that, oh no, the garment you are wearing is filthy? No. Did God take it, told him that you are, you are you having the strength? He just told him, remember where the promise that me and you, the agreement that you and me, we have on that day that I saved your life. Now let us remember the, the, the agreement we have with God. Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. I will be ever faithful to you. I will never leave you. I will never depart from your presence. But you are departing from the presence of God by wearing what is making God upset. You understand? And Jacob knew about it. He told his household and the people around them. He so arise. Take, put away all the strength God. And by the time he mentioned the strength God, the Holy Spirit already convinced them that even this hearing is not acceptable. So they knew from the Genesis. Nobody, Jacob did not mention. They themselves started removing. He knew that, oh, God did not want us to wear this one. They remove. Those are the strength God. They remove. They start removing all the strength God and they change their garment. 
It is your garment pleasing God. When you are talking about garment, you are talking about even the hair covering. The hair covering. Is it pleasing God? We need to be checking all those things. Because the Bible says we should not love the world, neither the things of the world. But we are loving the world even inside the house of God in a different way. In a different way. You see? In a different way. Even when we tie uh, our head tie, I was so surprised to hear that it's not all the head tie are head tie. Some of them I introduced uh, because of the because of holiness, the enemy, queen of the cause has brought confession even inside the church. Uh, it just covering you are covering your hair, but then the next minute you are seeing fashion. It's fashioned in the worldly way. In the worldly way. If you look at you, you see some of uh, some of them, if you look at it, you say, mm -mm -mm -mm. This one, mm -mm -mm. this one is not the right one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This one, I don't think so. But there's another one that you think this one is normal. This one is just normal. There's nothing on it, but check the design, check the form of it. It takes the grace of God for you to know. I was so surprised to hear that. And some of them, I was even having it. I have to tear them and use the anointing oil to break all the covenant I ever make with them. We never know. We might be making covenant with the queen of the coast and you will use it against you. By the time you remind you, ah, you have my property. How can you leave me now? You cannot leave me. You made a covenant with me. You understand from the day. I'm telling you that. This thing of wearing the wrong things, buying the wrong things, is very dangerous. Special for we that were working to make heaven. You know, it is very, very dangerous and very serious. We should not play with it. We, children of God, that's why the Bible says we should pray without season. When you're going to the market, pray without season. When you're going to the shop, pray without season. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you in the right thing that you please God because it's not everything in the market. I want gospel, a uh, Congolese gospel singer, he was singing a song. He said, We are, we are, we are, of the, we are in this world, but we are not in uh, this world. We are mixed with the world, but we are not the world. We enter the same shopping but with the world, but we don't buy the same stuff with the world. You understand? We don't buy the same stuff. We separate. We can go to the same shopping, but we are not buying anything together. Let me say, somebody will enter the same shop with you. You buy your meat, you buy your fish, you buy your, your, your drink, but the person is buying cigarettes, is buying alcohol. Are you buying the same thing? No, but you enter the same place. So the thing that you buy, it will make you to know who is who. You know? The place you enter will make you to know who is who. The way we talk will make you to, to know who is who. So it must be different between light and darkness. But when you start getting confused, you are in the light at the same time, you feel yourself dark then there's something wrong you see there is something wrong my brother-in-law i'm talking about things that happen here in london in uk in camden town people that live in london they know when i talk about camden town swiss cottage they know all these people that all those satanist people that put their hair like somehow they have this uh, funny funny style they are they plenty them so there's market there in Camden Town. There is one market in the Camden Town. They call it Camden Town Market, something like that. So they, there's a shop around. There's also outside market people that hang their clothes, have their staff, people doing that. All this it's just funny place. If you are in the street of you will not be comfortable, honestly. But because it's a main road that the 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 how do you call it? The train station is there. You see, when you come out from the train, you still have to face them. There's no way you can avoid them. So it was like uh, even the bus stop. So there's no way you can avoid them. It's like a man, road, and market at the same time. So it's a center. Yeah. It's a center, something like this, like a shopping mall. Everything is together, connected. So my brother-in-law was coming from work. He was passing by. Listen to this. <laughs> he used his own money. 
he saw a, a, a somebody was selling a, you know in the front of the shop how they hang things like you they put some extra outside just to attract people's attention to go and buy and some stuff inside the shop so he was passing he came out from the train he saw this t-shirt according to him he had no design nothing he was just plain t-shirt he wanted a t-shirt that is plain because he sings and choir so he wanted something that to put inside and put another thing on the top you know like jacket or any other thing so he saw a plan no design nothing he said okay i like this t-shirt let me just buy and they asked the price it was even cheap so he bought innocently he just bought the t-shirt put it inside the back he went to his house so he wanted to wear it on the choir on sunday when they're singing then it was like it was a saturday or friday i forget it was long time ago this story was like a, a 20 something years ago that it happened it happened 20 something years ago so he put the thing it was around six then so he put the thing on the cupboard he hung it today because it was new you don't need to wash them blah 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 just put it inside so to cut the store short in the night when he was sleeping he was sleeping he just saw his spiritual eyes open then he was still in his bed he just saw his spiritual eyes open he saw three figure wearing black suit black glasses in the night and the one was holding like something like a like a small uh, you know this case that you put dossier inside and another file with pen and the one in the middle that was holding a file and pen he said i i we came he said what are you people doing in my room how did you get here how did you enter my house how did you get you know he was inside his bed talking to them then these people said that oh you are one of us now he said what one of who how you know he said we came to give you to, to, to we came for you to sign the, to sign the the contract something like that uh, we want to for you to come and sign this dossier to confirm officially that yes you are one of us because you are you already one of us he said i'm not one of you i'm not one of you what are you doing he was trying to plead the, the blood of jesus the name of God, the thing was not coming, it was like they are pressing his neck, it was fighting. The people said, You don't need to argue with us. Then one, the one that was standing in the middle, he removed something from his pocket. A something like you know, the policemen have something that when they want to present themselves like their ID. So he removed something, he showed him. He said, Look at this. This is our sign. And everybody that you buy our clothes. He belonged to us. He said, I did not buy anything. He said, look at the t-shirt you buy earlier today. Look at the t-shirt you bought. The t-shirt you bought, he have our side. He said, no, 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 no. He don't have a side. He said, go and check. So in that, in that trance, he gets up from the bed. He went to the cupboard and he opened exactly. It was, the thing was like here. At the back. You know this sign that they, 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 at the back inside is very tiny. It's very tiny. He was trying, as he was trying to re, to tell them to leave, these people was insisting that he have to sign. He have to sign. So as he was fighting in the bed like this, finally, the wife now wake up. He saw how the husband was fighting, fighting. He shake him. He said, what's wrong? Then he was about to wake up. Now, going back, what if he was living alone and nobody to wake him up? Why, if he was alone, because then he was crying, asking, trying to call the name of Jesus, he will not come out. He was trying to plead the blood of Jesus, he was not coming up. And the people say, You must sign. You are one of us. Now, if he, as he was fighting like this to wake up, and the wife was not there, that's why you see people, oh, he, 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 he just went to sleep and died. Do you know what he saw before he died? Do you know the battle you have to fight alone without Jesus, without the Holy Spirit? 
because you open the door for the enemy to have access you have polluted you have destroyed the temple of god you become the temple of idol now the idol are coming to complain are coming to claim their rights they are coming to to claim their right and god you know that yes is their right you the one ignorantly he did not steal it he went to buy it the loss of the eye hey let us go to first john so 15 John 2 15 to 16. He said, Love not the world, neither the thing that are in the world. In this case, the t shirt was where in the world, the thing of the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the loss of the flesh and the loss of the eyes. This case is the eyes that sent him there. It's the eyes that he lost after the wrong t-shirt. And because he lost after that, the Bible said the love of the Father was not in him. That's why when he was crying, he was screaming, he was trying to rebuke these people. You cannot fight the enemy when you have the property of the enemy. He has his right. You cannot fight the enemy because he, they, they say, no, 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 you, you accepted. You signed contract with us. Sorry, you signed contract with us, so you have to, you accepted to be with us. So that's exactly what the queen of the course is claiming. He said, you the one invited me. I did not come on my own. I just introduced myself to you and you lost after me. You invited me to the temple of God. So it's not my fault. I'm claiming my right. I'm not going anywhere. That's why you see when they're doing deliverance, the enemy will say, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to stay. She's the one invited me. He's the one invited me by bringing my stuff, by, by doing this, by doing this, by doing that. You see, we should keep the temple of God. We should be careful of the things that we see. We should be careful of the things that we think. You know, the thing that we love that can easily make the love of God to depart from us, the presence of God to depart from us. When Evangelist Clay have this warning, he said he went to see the pastor and she was testing probably the test of truth, the test of holiness, the test of Jesus, because Jesus is the spring water, the water of life. He said, if you drink me, you will never test again. So she was looking for the truth and she finally found who was polluting the the world that's up the water that's supposed to open the eyes of people he was polluted why because the queen of the course is the one that has taken control he has taken over the church that is supposed to be the church of god now if queen of the course has taken over the church which church is ready for rapture which church is ready for rapture and we know that our law is coming and this coming is even at at end but we are not prepared because we have not yet cleansed we have not yet adorned ourselves as a bride that waiting for the bridegroom he said the angel are ready everything is ready they are prepared everything in heaven but the wife has to make herself ready we are the wife how do we have to make ourselves ready by cleansing ourselves from every filthiness of the flesh and the spirit to check every single spot in our garment our garment is not ready to be present with the, the bride for that marriage supper we need to check it every day the thing that we put in our head the thing that we put in our mouth even the thing that we eat the thing that we eat can also be door. One woman was arrested in Brazil. She was arrested in Brazil. This woman, 
She kidnapped two. Is it two children? I don't want to make a mistake that will stand against me. He kidnapped uh, two people. I think it was two girls. I don't remember. He killed them. He killed them. He catch them. And put them inside the freezer. And she was cooking the, their meat. A human being meat. To, me, to make them. Um, that's why people that eat the street food. Eh, be careful. Make sure you pray enough. He was... Um, he was making this, uh, how do you call it? Oh, I don't know how to put it in, in, in English. Something like, um, we call it, uh, Sister Isha will not eat, we call it um, koshia. Koshia uh, uh, in, in Portuguese, in, in, in English, can be like, it's something like a, a, a samosa. It's something like samosa. You know how the Indian people do samosa? It's similar to it, but that one is koshia. They, do, they can do it with meat. They can do it with chicken. So this woman was doing it with human being. And she was selling it. People around was buying it. And she was so famous because she was the way she was doing it. She was doing it so perfect, so tasty. Everybody was coming to him. I was arrested. How she was arrested? The people, the, the the last girl that she killed, she was missing. You know, there's always one day of judgment. There's always one day of judgment to all criminals. So that day of judgment, this woman has arrived. So the girl that she killed, God used that blood to be the one to suppose a secret. So the family was looking for that girl, looking for that girl. They never say, at the last I saw her, she was entering in that house. They came to that house. The woman said, oh, no, she don't, they, they, they never say, no, 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 I was here until late. I did not see that girl coming out. They called the police. The police came with the dog. They start checking, they saw blood. They said, blood? They check the freezer. They see the head is still hanging inside the freezer. That's how this, this woman confessed. Yes. How do you do? Where is the body? They said the body already uh, sell it. How do you sell it? He said, I cook it and I mix with it. I do this, I do this, I sell it. All the neighbors. All the neighbors. All the people that bought. They eat human being without knowing. Now, is it not the opening door? Are you different for which is a wizard that it's, it's, a, it's annoying and you that it is annoyingly you become abominable in the eyes of God? You know, but if we pray before you, God will tell you that no, 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 this one is polluted, this one is not meant for you to eat. Even the thing that we eat, we don't know. The thing that we buy with our own money can also defile us. It can also defile us. It can also be an opening door to so many demons to come. You see? So many demons to come. It takes the grace of God. It takes the grace of God. That's why we need to check our spirit. Our soul that is very high. Love not the world, neither the thing of the world. The, the thing that your eyes, you look, you have to go and look again. You touch, you have to turn to go and touch again. I used to be like a sister Croda would call it covetousness. When I go to the shop, and most of the time it was happening when I don't have money. Oh, when I don't have enough money, the day that I'll see everything that I like. It was so crazy. So one day I went to the shop. I was this bag. I said, oh, this bag is so nice. This bag is so beautiful. I didn't have enough man money. What did I do? I took the bag. I hold it. I started walking all the shop with it. Checking other stuff. I'll check the bag again. I say, oh, should I take this bag? Should I do this? Should I do that? I took it, took it, took it, took it, took it. So let me just <laughs> walk around to comfort myself until I'll get tired and I'll drop it. I'll drop it. And when I'll drop it, I'll not drop it in the place that everybody will see. I'll drop it in the place that nobody will see so that tomorrow when I come back, I may have the chance to buy it when I have enough money. This is not good. 
This is not the spirit of God in us. That is covetousness. You don't have, you don't have. What do you have to have to trouble for something that is not meant to be yours? You know? I used to do these things. My heart almost sleep. I need to go there. I need to go there. Oh, that you understand? You start planning it. You start. These are the things that can easily defy us. We are not having this desire to the word of God. All those loss that we have, let us loss to the word of God. Like, ah, I must read Bible today. At least four chapters. I need to read it. I, I need to spend. We never have this thing. But what will you have it to the thing that will not profit us anything? You know? May the Lord help us to reach the standard. Not to pollute, not to defile the temple of God. To check, to check, to check, to check, to check. Satan knows that our eyes are open to these visible things. Those things. Now he will make it, he will change it in the name of holiness. He will change it in a different way. It's a very sneak way that you don't even pay attention. And that's how you get you. That's how you will get you. If somebody can go to hell because he borrowed a, a ten stick, he steals ten stick of man. Do you think that is a small thing in the eyes of God? In the eyes of people, you can say, oh, that's a matter. But in the eyes of God, matters. It matters. Anything that they will tell you doesn't matter, don't relax over it. Don't relax. He said, mm -mm -mm. if it doesn't matter to a human being, then it matters to God. Then it matters to God. And the Lord help us. So I would like to give opportunity to my sisters also to contribute. May God help us concerning the temple of God. Any other thing that you think you can bring up just to encourage each one of us as we're preparing for heaven. The coming of our Lord Jesus is getting near and near every single day. May the Lord help us to be among the chosen and to be the one. Ah, as God has called us. Let us not miss it. Let the enemy not have any single thing. Just as he did not have anything to job, against Job, let him not have anything against us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So I'll call on Evangelist Fisher and then Sister Claudia, prepare yourself also if you are available in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. That, that we thank God for God. We bless His holy name. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, may the Lord bless you, woman of God. We thank God for this. Uh, you know, I thank God for the opening eye He's giving His children for us to know <laughs> it's not everything we see that we think is from God. So may the Lord continue giving us the grace. The grace, the grace, the grace, you know, the things of the word. As Father God says in his word, he says uh, the book of James uh, 4, the book of James uh, 4, 4. He said, I read in Jesus in the book of James 4, 4. He said, uh, the word of the Lord said, ye adulterers and, adult and ye adulterers and adulterers. Know ye not that the friendship of the word is the enemy with any any enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the word is the enemy of God. That is the word of the Lord. So you and I, we cannot change it. That is the standard of God. No matter what you are doing in the house of God. As a daughter of God, as a, as a son of sons of God, daughters of God, sons of God, but you are doing something, one thing and another in the house of God, and but you are still disobeying Almighty God, being a friend of the word. 100% even though you are coming to the house of God, being the choir, mistress, choir, master, pastor, minister of God, but you are still a friend of, of the word. You are enemy of God. If I'm a friend of the word, I'm an enemy of God. No matter, even though I'm praying in an unknowing tongue, even though I speak in the tongue more than that many thousands of people in one, the person see 
enemy of God. So the word of the Lord says, you and I should not be a friend of, 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 of the world. So we cannot say as a child of God, as imitate the word. I know we live here on this, but here is not our home. One day you and I will pass over. One day we will, we will stand in the presence of Almighty God. We are going to give an account. So putting on the, hair, the the fake hair, the attachment of this, you 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 are copying the word. You are copying the word to you know. You see them or those uh, wig, or those who weave on. You admire them. You say, ah, oh, this is beautiful. But do you know where it's coming from? You you and I, we don't know where it's coming from. But we just see other putting it on. We say, oh, this person is putting on. Oh, I like it. Let me wear it. That is the property of the world. That is the property of Satan. That is the property of Jezebel. So we should not imitate them. We should not imitate them because our God is God Almighty. So he will not change his standard for you. He will not change his standard for me. We must follow his rule. We, we must follow his standard. By you following his standard, by me following his standard, is the help of the Holy Spirit. As a child of God, you and I will depend on the Holy Spirit to lead us. So when we are going to buy something, may the Lord give us the grace to be interceding, praying before going. Most of the time, we are in hurry to go out, to go and shopping and go for shopping. We don't even remember to pray. Not only you, I do it sometimes, but I thank God for God. God is giving me grace gradually to pray for God to lead us to the, the right things to buy. Not just going to the, to the shop, we go buying anything that is in there. We should not be a friend of the of, of the world. As a child of God, as a as we 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 we, we women, as the jewelry matter. No, no, say ah, jewelry the, and the, the little earring doesn't matter. You know, some people, you see some people they are, they are, they are say they're in holiness, they preach uh, about holiness, but the small they say they still wear small earrings. So I don't really understand. Small earrings, big earrings. What is the difference? Is it not earrings? Earrings is not earrings. Earrings is earrings. No matter how you will turn it upside down, it's still earrings. Small or not small, it's still the same earrings. You cannot change it. I cannot change it. Tiny no big o is still earrings. I would like us to turn to the book of uh, Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us turn to the book of um, Deuteronomy chapter. Praise Master Jesus. Deuteronomy 7. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Okay. The, uh, the book of Deuteronomy 7, 20, 25 to 26. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read you in Jesus' name. The book of Deuteronomy 7, 25 to 26. I read in Jesus' name. He said that, 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 that praise Master Jesus, the gravy images of uh, their gods shall they shall they burn with fire. Thou shalt not uh, desire that silver or gold. That is on a dem. None take it unto the thee. Lest thou be a snare therein, for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Verse 26. Neither shall the thou bring an abomination into the, thy house. Lest thou be a cause thing like it. 
but uh, thou shalt not utterly detest it. And uh, thou shalt not utterly abort it. For it is a cause thing. What is the costing? What Father God is saying here? What is the what the word of the Lord is telling you and I? The word we just read right now. What is it telling us about gold and silver? Isn't Father God says here for you and I not to bring uh, gravy images of a uh, of a uh, ghost which which a uh, ye uh, sorry uh, ghost uh, shall a uh, uh, born with fire. If you have it, maybe you the time you don't even know about this thing. You you had you have all this uh, gold, uh, the silver on it. You have about it, throw them away. If he wants to burn them, burn them, throw them away. So the word of the Lord says, he said, and he said that thou shalt not uh, desire the silver or gold that it is on the you and I should not desire all those golds, all those uh, silver that you see, all those women, all those men, uh, they are packing on their body, idol. You see those uh, those uh, chains, uh, the locket, uh, all those lockets. Ch ch check the locket out. Check the uh, the chain down. Now all of them have uh, an image, image of wanting and another. And Father God said we should not worship. We should not bow down to any image. Mm. Not that not, we should not worship anything on the, the sun and what is under the sun, the moon, what is on the air on this earth, on this thing, we should not on the, 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 the sea, under the sea, we should not worship them, we should not bow down to them. But when you check all those uh, chains, all those earrings, all those designs they are using to design it, you see, all those things are from what Father God said, we should not bow down and worship. If you are the one that see having those earrings or those chains, bring them out and go to the book and go to the word of the Lord, the book of uh, Exodus. Let us turn there. We are still coming here. May the, may the Lord help us. Let us go to the book of Exodus 20. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The book of Exodus 20. I start from, uh, hallelujah, uh, let me start from uh, the book of Exodus 20. Yeah, I start from, uh, let me start from uh, 22. Praise Master Jesus. I read in Jesus' name. And the, and the, the Lord said unto Moses, thou shalt, and the Lord said unto Moses, thus that thou shalt uh, say unto the children of Israel, ye, ye have an uh, say that I have uh, taken with, uh, I, sorry, I have uh, talk, talked with uh, you from uh, heaven. Ye cannot uh, make uh, with uh, me gods of a uh, silver, Neither shall ye uh, make unto you gods of gold. Praise Master Jesus. 20, 20, 20, 24. And, uh, and, and, and the altar of uh, uh, an and an altar of an uh, earth, uh, thou uh, shall uh, make uh, unto me, and uh, shall uh, sacrifice thereon uh, thy burnt offerings, and uh, thy peace offerings, uh, thy sheep, and uh, thy uh, oxen uh, in uh, all places where I record, uh, where I record my name. I will uh, come unto uh, thee as I will uh, bless uh, thee. Praise Master Jesus. So Father God tells you and all in his word. That's who we should not make image of what the gods of the, the, the gods, the small g gods of, of a silver, the small g gods of God. So when you now you are putting all those uh, jewelries on your body, is gods, you are worshiping them. Let one of them lost. You don't have peace, you cannot sleep. Let's say one of your God earring lost, you will search for that thing till you will find it. Gods, you don't want to get rid of them. Father God, you and I should not put it on our body. 
is God, is God's, is idol. We should not put it in on our body. As Father God said in his word, his word is yes and amen. Praise Master Jesus. I would like to, we are seeing that book of a revelation in uh, uh, Exodus 20. Let us read the verse 4. Praise Master Jesus. He said, thou shalt not make unto, the, unto the thee any graven image, any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, uh -huh. that is in the heaven above, the, the stars, the moons, the, the moon, the, the moon, the sun, and check your check your jewelries out. What is, what is the form they are using to make your jewelries? Okay, we are still reading. He said, all that is in the there in the earth, beneath all, hmm, all that is in the, the water under the under the under 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 the earth. We should not what? We should not use them. We should not put them on our body. They are idols. We should not worship those things. So that's it. We, we let us turn back to the Deuteronomy 20, Deuteronomy 7, 26, 25 to 26. So as Father God said, it is an abundance. He said, you and I should not even, he said, he said none take it unto the day. You should not even take it unto thee. The silver and the gold, you, should, you and I should not desire, desire it. We should not desire it. That we now desire is oh bring it them to our to ourselves, bring it them to our house. He said, not to take it unto the day. We should not desire it. We should not take it unto our to bring it to ourselves. Praise Master Jesus. So we are seeing. He said, listen, down a be snare therein. So there is there is there is a. There is spirit be behind those uh, jewelries. There is spirit that is uh, the demon that manipulating. That's it that makes you, when you have it, you want more of it. You are not satisfied with one. You want more. You have to get all of them. You, you, I get this one today. Uh, if I can able to get this earring today or ne this necklace today or this one today, tomorrow I'm not buying it. And soon you, you, you afford to buy that one. The next one, you are looking for another one. There is spirit be behind it. There is spirit. There is idol. There is spirit in behind those things. Father God said you should not desire it. You should not bring it to yourself. That is the word of the Lord telling you, we, you and I should not be sneers to them. Because when you bring them, they will, you will be their slave. And Father God doesn't want you and I to be a slave to, to idol, to God, so small gods. He doesn't want that one for you and I. So he says here, he said, he said, we are seeing the 25, Deuteronomy 7, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 25. He said, the father, it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. It's an abomination. You cannot change it. Small earring, big earring, it's an abomination to God. Your jewelry is, is an abomination to God. No matter the anointing or year you are putting on it, no matter the prayer you said you are praying on, is still an abomination to God. You cannot change it. I cannot change it. Father God said we should not be snared with them. We should not bring it to our house. We should detest them. It's an abomination to him. It's because of that when I see the, 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 ministers, the, the ministers of God and the, 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 the preaching holiness, they will send the, the ring. Ring. Is it not still gold and silver that that, that that ring comes from? I don't understand it. You are reading the word of the Lord. Father God said you, as a child of God, ministers of God, that you even know better. That is telling you and all that we should not be snared with those things. And you said it's ring. Okay, where is in the Bible that uh, Father God joined uh, Adam and Eve together and make and uh, use the ring to join them together? I don't understand you. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. 
So as Father God says here, it's an abomination to, to the Lord, thy God, your God that you are. I, 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 I'm not the one that made heaven. You are not the one that made heaven. The one that made heaven telling you is an abomination to him. Then you think you are, you, he's joking. He's not joking. He's not playing. No. He loves you. He loves me. Let us change our ways. Let us throw those things away from our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. By the help of the Holy Spirit, we can overcome. Please. So in verse 26, 26 I said, neither destroy nor me, write it down, read it for yourself. Don't argue, don't say, I don't care. You better care before you close your eye in death. And that time there is no mercy anymore. Now you and I got a, the, the opportunity to ask for mercy and reject what God said we should not bring, we should not have desire or need, we should not bring that to ourselves. So now, 26, is saying now, read, listen very well, write it down. Deuteronomy, 20, Deuteronomy 7, 25 to 26. I'm reading 26. Neither shall the devil bring an abomination into the house, into your house. I should not bring abomination into my house. You should not bring abomination into your house. Father God is telling you now. So he's saying, he said, it's, it's, it's the word of the Lord said, he said, listen, down there being a cause, a thing like it. That means the, the, the gold and the silver bringing them into your house. That gold and silver is a cause thing. Father God said in his word, he said, it's a cause thing. You should not bring that thing to your house. Talk less or to put it on your body. Talk less of me to put it on my body. We are still reading. President, we are seeing the 26. Says, but uh, thou shalt uh, utterly detest it. You and I shall utterly destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, throw them away from your life. It's for your good. It's for my good. Because the property of Satan will never enter the kingdom of God. Never, never. No matter how you pray on it, no matter the anointing you pour on it, it will not enter the kingdom of God. It will not. You are a servant of God. You say you are a servant of God. You wear it, those uh, uh, rings. You said, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm praying over it. I don't know. <laughs> Better, don't labor in vain. I should not labor in vain in Jesus' name. You should not let that small ring take you away from the kingdom of God. You should not let that wedding ring Stop you not to, not to enjoy the goodness of God from everlasting to everlasting. Please, read the word of the Lord. You know, you knew better. You know what is in the word of the Lord. He said it's a cause thing. Anything cause will not enter the kingdom of God. Praise Master Jesus. We are still reading the word of the Lord. Say, and a darkness shall utterly abhor it. Uh, ab uh, sorry, abhor the, abhor the it, for it is a cause thing. It's a cause thing. That is it. I thank God for God. May the Lord help us. May the Lord give us the grace to understand his word. You and now we don't want to be snared by the things of the just the properties. The things of Satan. And so now we God will not let us miss heaven. Heaven is so precious. That, uh, that you know, I thank God for Jesus. When that man asked the Father Lord Jesus, Christ, who then will make a heaven? He says, strive to enter. So Father Lord Jesus Christ didn't say, ah, you know what? Once saved, forever saved. You know what? Eternal security. You know what? When you call upon, when you say, ah, I have given my life to God, it's over. Father Lord Jesus Christ didn't say so. He's the one that asked that this man. I thank God for that man that asked this question. Father Lord Jesus Christ told him, he said, don't worry. I will tell you, my son, what you have to do. Strive to enter. The kingdom of God, you and I must strive to enter. Please don't, don't listen to the one that telling you won't say forever save. You won't say forever save. You see living, see you see living in a disobedient to God. 
I'm sorry to tell you, I love your soul, I love my soul, please. You are now I must strive to enter the kingdom of God. If it is, if, if to enter the kingdom of God, if, if it was easy, our Lord Jesus Christ will not go past that pain, that suffering, that horrible death for you and I. If it's just voila, you just enter freely. It will not go for you and I will not die. Could I not come and die for you and I? He will say, ah, it's okay now. He will just enter like this. Father Lord Jesus Christ, no, it's hard to enter the kingdom. Let me go and show my daughter, my sons, you have to strive to enter. And he came in and he set an example for you and I. By what? by obedience to his father total obedience no but but is not but was not in the dictionary of father lord jesus christ when he was here as a child of god you and i let us stay but out of our dictionary because you know we, you know i thank god for god for giving us the grace I thank God for God. God created us, we women. We should not be putting all this Jezebel prophet. They're weak. They're, they're, they're retouching your hair. Please, you are defying your glory. That is your glory. I know, you know, when you are talking, say that, ah, this is my glory. Ah, you know that it's fake. Yeah, this is my glory. This is my glory. You start flinging it. Ah, liar. You don't know. Father God said, all liars, where they will end? Lake burn with prison and fire. And we pardon Jezebel property and say, yeah, this is my hair. This is my glory. It's not your glory. You are a liar. Change it. Your glory is your hair. Your hair, Father God gave to you. That is your glory. Don't be putting all those defilement, defined things on your head, on your glory. When you are now, as a child of God, as a woman, we dress, as Father God said, dress modesty. We women should dress modesty. That is the standard. Not they say you are dressing modesty. You are saying you are dressing modesty. Uh, your, your, your dress, your dress is seen true. Tell me, is it modesty? I don't understand. Everything that is in you, everybody can see true. And you said you had, uh, you dress modesty. Please, you are not disowning. You are not. You are not. You are not. Uh, you are not disgracing God. You are disgracing yourselves. You are not more sector. This is the standard of God. You are not as a woman. Let us dress modesty. That is the word of God. You wear something, let that thing be covered until you wear something long. You wear something long that you say, okay, I wear something long, but it's see true. Everybody can see what is inside. It's like, it's like mirror. You use mirror to look yourself. You see yourself, everything like this, you see like this, on your face like this. So somebody looking you outside, just seeing everything. I don't understand. I know some some of them you see coming with the house of coming to the house of God like that. Some of them women they see coming like that they don't care, seducing so the men. And those men now I thank God may the God give them the grace. For them, no, no, coming to the house of God after the finishing the service, most of them they don't even. No concentration for them in the house of God. When they, those seducing, uh, those seducing women with their dressing, they are not there to concentrate in their sermon. If you ask them, what is the sermon today? They will not tell you. But in their mind, when they saw that picture you showed them so, so beautifully, you said it's beautiful, uh, abomination picture, 
It's what is in their mind. You can tell them to tell you, they will tell you everything that is in there. They have already stripped you down from their from the from you from the toe from the from the from the head to the toe. All those men I swear I don't understand. They say that they say some of them say they are they are they are they are, they are servant of God. You are telling your wife to dress seducing, to dress sexy. Who is this sexy for? You married your wife to every man. I have no idea for you. He dress says he. You must dress says you must look beauty. Beautiful for who? Beautiful for just you and Jesus. Not for that man. Now you will make your wife to go and be looking for, for to dress her. No? To be seducing other men. To work her. To you, you, you will tell your wife to work her the way, the seducing way. That, you know, why? What's wrong? If you have been the, the man out there, you 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 letting your wife to dress seducing dressing, you let your wife to work a seducing working, please stop it. You will hold, you will be you will, you God will hold you the responsibility, the accountability for it in Jesus' name. If you don't change, that woman she's a daughter of the Most High God. That you are changing, using her, changing her so to, to go in like a prostitute. She's a daughter of the Most High God. Leave her, leave her, let her be natural for Jesus. Natural. May the Lord help all of us. May the Lord help all of us. Many women, they're in the hellfire and because of their husband, telling their dress seducing dresses, telling their wash seducing, seducing one, you know. And then they close their eye in death. Now they found themselves in hellfire. You know the, the, the thing that is paining me most, that man can repent tomorrow, today, and that will die. That man will go to heaven. And that woman is in the hellfire, tormenting from everlasting to everlasting. May the, may the Lord help us. May the Lord help each and every one of us. Let me give it a chance to pray that may the Lord help. Let me stop here by the grace of God. I hand over to you, man. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May the Lord bless you more, grace. You really said so many things here to encourage us. Oh, honestly, all this, the Bible, all those Bible verse is on the Bible. People are reading it, you know. They will tell you that, oh, no, 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 no. Just like you mentioned, God is the one that made, created the, the, the marriage. He's the one that did the marriage for the first time. He's the one that joined. He came from God himself. He's not a man that started with the marriage. But he did not give them a wedding ring. So where does this doctrine of wedding ring came from? You know, where is this doctrine of wedding ring came from? And you see some minister, you see them, they will claim to be preaching holiness. But they are wearing, the women are wearing fake hair. They, they themselves, they are wearing wedding ring. They don't know that because of that, they have made covenant. They are not making covenant with God, but they are making the covenant with Satan by inviting Satan in their marriage. That you see, many people, they don't have peace. They are facing so many challenges because they have invited Satan. They make covenant with Satan and they have that sign of covenant they have to take get rid of it may the lord help us without wasting much time let us uh, hear from a servant of the most High. also god bless you sister claudia hallelujah thank you jesus and thank you for the opportunity i'm not always there but i thank god for the opportunity hallelujah i just want to add our sister said something about, um, you know, the, the hair, that's the glory. And as she was explaining to it, they said, this is my glory. But that hair belonged to someone else before. Those wedding rings belong to somebody else before you purchase them. So did you purchase somebody's glory? Did you purchase somebody's blessing? Huh. All liars. All liars. 
the, the, the word of the Lord tells us in Isaiah 44, verse um, 25, that frustrated the tokens of the liars and make diviners mad that turn up wise men backwards and make their knowledge foolish. People who think they know better, they have gone to seminary school or cemetery school. People who know that, that, that I know everything. Oh, my pastor, he have been a pastor so long. He have met with God and everybody else. Everyone knows him, please. That's your CV. But in Hellfire, there's a lot of CV like that. People who know a lot. One thing that lack is this, this man, um, Ben, I, I was told this man, um, Mr. Adahosa, I was told that this man went to hell. I don't know anything much about him, but he's grievous, a man of God, a powerful man of God to end up there. Glory, did he have? He have a lot, but still he lacked one thing. You know, the word of God tells us it too in Isaiah 44, that this man took, there was a man that took a, a piece of, of wood and he warms himself with it. He's hungry, he cooks with it. You know, it, it, it keeps him warm. And he put a piece on the side and fall down and say, your God, deliver me. And, and, and 19, oh, well, let me read from 17. And the residue thereof, Isaiah 44, uh, 17. I, I'll read from 17 because of time. And the residue thereof, he make up a God, even the graven image, he falleth down to it, unto it, and worshipeth it, and prayeth unto it, and said, deliver me. A piece of wood, for thou art my God. Uh oh, they have not known nor understood, for he have shut their eyes, that is God, and that they cannot, cannot see, and their hearts, that they cannot understand. And none considereth in his heart, neither is there knowledge nor understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire. Yea, also I have baked bread upon the coals thereof. I have roasted flesh and eaten. And shall I make the residue thereof an abomination? Shall I fall down to the stalk of a tree? This is the same thing people take plastic, make hair. Put it on their heads and call it glory. What's the difference? You know, the things we catered to ourselves and we fooled ourselves, we lied to ourselves. Now we know better because God has opened our eyes. You see, it, it, it says that he has shut their hearts that they can't even understand. So you are telling them, Deuteronomy 25, um, 22 verse 5. A man shall not wear what pertains to a, a, a woman, not a woman, a man. All that do so are an abomination. And they're like, what abomination? Excuse me. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, by the mercies of God, God's mercy, you see where, where it is, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service not extreme just reasonable so in all what we are doing and we are saying child of god do not put those accoutrements because they belonged to someone before you do not know no i the covenants you do not know the initiates that was made on this piece of jewelry when they dug it up from the earth you don't know that were you there? You don't know in what coven they had this doing incantation. And he says, ah, look at my ring flashing it in church. Huh? No, as long as you have it on your hand, you are in covenant with darkness unbeknownst to you. You see, ignorance is not bliss. The Bible says all liars, whether you are aware of it or not, shall have their, their part in the lake of fire. It, we had to give up things we like. I, I loved my ring. I, I really did. But when I consider a little piece of gold versus streets of gold, a little piece of diamond versus forevermore with Jesus, ah, that's not a trade. Ah, ah, ah. 
That isn't even a trade. I think Jesus lost and I gained. What? I mean, he is giving us everything. And what did he get? What is he getting? Well, for you to be saved and for me to be saved, for us to be saved, that is where he wins. He wants our hearts. He wants our love. He's not willing that anyone should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You come to repentance. Me, come to repentance. And if your, your minister says, once save, always save, you don't want to wait in hellfire to ask Ananias and Sapphira that question because they were under the dispensation of grace after Jesus Christ died. They lied, one lie, boom. And that's where they are forever, everlasting to everlasting. And we, how many times have we lied? And God, we are under grace. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. God forbid. We don't want to do these things. You know, someone told me, what about a little earring? How about a little sin? Did the Bible say a little sin will enter heaven? It says no sin, none. So what about the little earring and your salvation you are negotiating? I don't want a big one. What about a little one? People can have the seed. Well, if people can have the seed, why wear it then? Why put it on? You see how deceiving yourselves? Let us not deceive ourselves. The word of God tells us we should be very careful in the last days of the false Christs and false prophets. Beware you are not deceived. Beware you and I are not deceived because they come in all sizes, all shapes. And what they come is to ensnare. Can you imagine? Not a big earring, a little earring. I'm not much makeup, just a little concealer. I, I mean, I don't use anything, just a little lipstick. If it's just a little, just a little, cut it out. There is no halfway to heaven, you know, it's all the way. Just not taking 99%, 100. Satan will take a quarter, anything he gets, he'll take it because you know it's defilement. Anything he gets is defilement. Uh huh. Anything Satan has, that is thing that's no good. It's rubbish. It's garbage. It's polluted. But God wants everything that is not defiled, blameless, spotless. You know, without stain, wrinkled, white, bright, clear. Everything is like just pure. With Satan, anything goes. Please, he changes colors. Yes. Anything goes for him. So we can adjust children of light. We cannot be uh, flexible like this in sin. Oh, I will take half of sin, half of holiness. You can't do that. Can't. Come all the way. And some still they have a problem. Well, that is extreme. Hell is extreme, my dear. Have you heard? If you have a thermometer, it would blow your thermometer off. Hell is extreme. I have never seen... You're talking about Christianity being extreme. The Bible said unquenchable fire. Every fire in this world, well, except the volcanoes, can be quenched. But that fire is unquenchable for eternity. This is two measurements we don't have a scale for and a temperature gauge for. You want to be party to that group? My dear, I would change my mind if I were you. Get insurance for heaven. Say yes to Jesus. Those little things you're giving up, God have a mansion for you. John 14 says, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. You didn't have one here. Many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. This is a consolation prize that Jesus Christ, with those big thorns that were all in his head. Talk about a headache. Where did people got those big thorns? And he says, please, I'll take the thorns and give you a mansion. What kind of exchange is that? I'll take those nails in my feet to give you a wonderful place with me for eternity. That doesn't look fair. I'll have my, my hands with nails in it for you, stripes for you. 
What do you get? You get my blood. You get to come and live with me. Even if with our, our, our evil eyes, we can see that's not fair. But may God grant us this place in heaven with him, this wonderful place in heaven with him. And may we invite our family, our friends to know the law that passes understanding and to drop those things that doesn't please God because he loves us. His hand is outstretched to a rebellious and hostile children. Can you imagine trying to hug somebody who hates you? The person is kicking and screaming and punching you and you're trying to be nice to them. That's his children. May God help us to be kind and to open our hearts to say yes before eternity strikes. May God help us and our brothers and our sisters out there who don't know Jesus as Lord and, and think that wearing a little pants wouldn't, would not have a problem. It is a big problem. Change before it is too late. Read Deuteronomy 20 to 5. God bless each and every one of you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, Sister Claudia. God bless you. Hell is real. You know, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 5 and 14 said, Therefore, hell has enlarged herself and opened a mouth without measure. Hell doesn't reject anybody. Hell is available 24 hours, any moment. It doesn't reject, it never full. You always have space to receive anybody, to receive all the disobedient children. And it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't look, oh, no, 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 no. You are like this, you are like that. You are not quite known. As long as you disobey God, your place is there. So let us stand, you know. Jesus did not say that it's going to be easier, but he said we should strive to enter. He gave us that, he gave us that grace. He gave us that grace, you know, to, to overcome. If those people that was before us, you know, I always remind God, I say Peter that was an, a, a double-minded person, he was struggling, but God gave him a grace. He said, I'm praying for you, you know. God is also interceding for us. Jesus is interceding for us, for us to make it. That's why he said his, his grace is sufficient for us. His strength, if you see that you are going weak spiritually, we cry to him, he will strengthen us so that you not get tired. You will not get discouraged. Satan is having many ways of discouraging. Many ways. This is exactly the stage that we are. Is the stage of many ministers of God they are afraid of. If I preach this message, nobody will follow me. If I preach them this message, nobody will join. If I preach this message, all the members will go. Let them go because you are showing them the way of salvation. But you don't follow them to compromise your own salvation. That's what the Bible says. You know, well, whatever we are doing here, we are not entertaining to please anybody. We are just doing what is right. We are not doing here to have, we are not competing, doing competition to have more members, more followers. No, 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 no. Look at the, the, the church of Los Angeles. They, have, they, were, they were plenty. They have riches, but they were naked in the eyes of God. And look at the church of Philadelphia. As small as this church was, they stood on their ground that they were not compromised. Small. It's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. It's about the quality. When those people, the disciples came to Jesus, they did not know what they were following. They were just follow, 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 follow. But they tied the word of salvation, the real message was coming up. Jesus said, if you want to make it, you better eat my body and drink my blood. They say, witchcraft. Who do you think you are for us to eat your blood? This is not even biblical. Blah, 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 blah. They left. The, Bible says, the quantity that left more was more than the one that remained. The quantity. Jesus did not say that, oh, I will, not, I will stop preaching this message so that they will come back. I will please them. No, 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 no. He even asked the disciples, say, will you also go? Because he was ready to stay alone if they have to leave as well. If they have to leave as well, let them leave. I, oh, I make up my mind, even if it's one person watching, I will be happy. Because the message is for that one person. The person, the message of that one person. God wants to talk to that one person. That's why he makes that one person to be available. 
God said to e e Ezekiel, He said, Go and talk to one this uh, one the, the house of Israel. He said, Go, but they will not hear it on you. They will not listen to you. But I just want you to go. I know they will not listen, but just go. As he was going, he was not obeying any other person but obeying the voice of God. And he knew that God already told him that they will not obey you. They will not listen to you. Exactly what God said to, uh, to Moses. He said, go to Pharaoh, but I will harden his heart because I want to glorify myself. If we are coming because of member, we are not coming the next day because of the way the enemy was doing. You know, the, because to what the enemy is doing. When you see that nobody's listening to me, I will stop. No, 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 don't stop. There is somebody listening somewhere. There is somebody listening somewhere. You just continue to do what is right. Don't say, ah, where am I going to pay? Before God call you, you already know that you are going to pass through this challenge. God is our provider. He will provide. He will pay the whole for you. He will provide for you. And it's not these people that are blessing you. It's God that blessed so don't compromise because of anybody. But stand your ground. Stand for God. Stand for Jesus. Job passed the test. Look at what he, he, he rejoiced for. He rejoiced a lot. David trust in God. God was fighting his battle. Even when the council of Ahitophel was planning evil against him with his own child, his own son, they did not succeed. They can come for a period of time. As you can see, David ran away because he didn't want to challenge his own son. But he did not stop God from bringing him back. So let us always put our trust in God. Father, if that is your will, if that please you, let your will be done. May the Lord bless us as you listen. We are so encouraged. The more the enemy is fighting, the more we know that we are doing the right thing. That's what makes us happy. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So that was for today. We thank God. We thank God for our life. We thank God for what God is doing. God is doing in our life. God is, God is increasing us day by day. Oh, we are not growing in physical. We are growing spiritually. Ah, God is faithful. Oh, God, thank you. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. So I'll pass this moment to Evangelist Fisher as we come to the end of our Who Ventures Woman time. Each time I join this program, I learn something new. I get always to I get to understand the Bible that the more we read, the more we discover new things. We don't really know this Bible. So we need to always study it, meditate it, and do according to what is written there. <laughs> May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you, Sister Credit, for your contribution. Evangelist Fisha for your contribution. I don't know if Sister Isha have contribution too. <laughs> Before we round up. May the Lord bless you. Over to you, Mami Fisher. Praise Master Jesus. We thank God for God. May the Lord bless all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you, woman of God. We thank God for your life. We thank God. We really thank God. We are grateful for choosing you. We really say, Almighty God, thank you for your daughter's life. In Jesus' name, Father, thank God. So we are coming back. We are coming back on Friday night, DJ. If you have time, please join us. Time for your family. Time for the gap. It has said for your family. It has said for your neighbor, the church, the church of God. You know, let us stand and it has said for the others by the grace of God in Jesus' name. Join us in our ninth vigil on Friday, 11, 11 p.m. London time. May the Lord bless you. If we forgot, this is our first week. <laughs> fasting, praying, fasting. Oh, okay. Thank God. We are Wednesday. On Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we don't have nine VG this uh, week. So we are fasting and prayer. Join us. The mountain that the enemy is placed on our way shall be removed in Jesus. Any kind of mountain, mountain of sickness, mountain of barrier, mountain of backwardness, mountain of failure, any kind of a mountain the enemy is using, standing on the place on our way shall be removed in the name of Jesus. As Father God says in his word, if you and I say to this mountain, this mountain be that remote, this mountain be that castle, it shall be, it shall, it will not disobey God. Hallelujah. We thank God because it is God that created, created 
everything. We bless the name of the Lord. Please join us in these three days uh, prayer and fasting. Join us and pray for your family. Fast and pray for your family. You see what is not going right in your family, in your life. Come join us, let us pray. In the name of God, we answer you in Jesus' name. Say, call upon me and we answer you. Our God is the God that hear a prayer. Almighty God, we bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. So right now, I would like us to pray for ourselves first. We are going to ask Father God, as we heard your word, Father, please uh, sow your word in our heart. Don't let any, any don't let that Satan steal your word away from us. Give us the grace to put it in practice in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, we give you all the glory. Oh, Lord, Father, so we are going to pray for the woman of God for more anointing, for God to replenish unto her the virtue that went out of her. In the name of Jesus, for God to protect her, protect her family in Jesus' name. Let us pray for her in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God. In the name of Jesus, my Father, as you just have to be a blessing to the Father, bless her in return in Jesus' name. And I feel the hedge of fire and run her and her family in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, we thank you once again for using her to be a blessing to the body of Christ. Father, and the mighty God, we say thank you. We bless you, only Father. Any power, any spirit, any personality that want to attack her because of this message, Father. And I let your tongue of fire arise and consume those powers in the name of Jesus Christ. And I send your warrior angel to fight for her to be to protect her, protect her family, Father. We ask you, Lord. And I will thank you. We bless you. Only we exalt you. Only mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We thank you, everlasting Father. We see your word and the concert of, the concert to us today. We see the words with the precious blood of Jesus Christ in our heart, in our spirit, in our soul, in Jesus. And Father, we bless you. Only Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, Christ, and the, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the, the, the Holy Spirit, rest remain and abide with us now. Lord, the 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 Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you.